I've been posting bald, hair loss, balding related content now to YouTube for well over four years. And during that time, one comment has reigned supreme. Bro, my dumbass thought he Johnny Sins. Bruh, is that you, Johnny Sins? What the heck is doing Johnny Sins in YouTube? Bro turned into Johnny Sins in a few seconds. Bruh, is that you, Johnny Sins? Did anyone else see Johnny Sins when you look at him? Johnny Sins also bald. Johnny Sins. Bro about to do everyone with that haircut look like Johnny Sins. <laughs> But that was up until very recently. Hey, how are you? I mean, you really did take over social media. I came in with longer hair, now it's shorter hair. Whether you agree with his points or not, he had a massive impact. Andrew Late, OMG, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, Walmart edition. <laughs> so what exactly is the deal with Andrew Tate and his bald head? Andrew Tate is bald, by the way. My prediction is that he started to experience some form of male pattern baldness. And that's because he didn't have keeps, today's sponsor. Just ah, so he's selling a product here. Well, you can see here the pattern of my hair. I shaved my hair off because when I was young, my father said I should shave my hair off because he said when you're a full grown man, nobody cares what your hair looks like. They're going to care about the quality of man you are. So that's his story, but many people debating whether that's true or not. But I, I don't have hair by choice, by the way. Like, I could easily grow hair. For some reason, Andrew Tate doesn't want us to see what is underneath his shaved head. Did he do a hair transplant or another type of cosmetic procedure in the past? Well, if you take a look at his dad here, we can quite clearly see that some hair loss does run in the family. And so I wouldn't be surprised if there was some of that hair loss going on there and that helped influence his decision. Who knows? For me, the important thing is his influence on helping guys take that action and break free from that insecurity. Any man who really thinks they need hair to be attractive to females or to matter in the real world has no substance. Your value is not derived from how you look. Your value is derived from your competency. How competent are you? So as taking over the internet as a whole, naturally he found his way into this bald and balding space. Edgar Arias here says, Andrew Tate has been a huge confidence boost to a lot of bald men. And the best part is that people don't even talk or mention that he's bald. Nobody looks at Tate and goes, ah, he's pushing a Lamborghini. He makes 10 or 15 million dollars a year. He's strong, he's a retired kickboxing world champion. His father was a chess master. Ah, but don't like his haircut. And I think what he means there is, the first thing you think about Andrew Tate isn't, oh, he's got hair or he's not got hair. And I know that that is a big worry for a lot of guys when they're losing their hair and they're thinking about shaving it. Is that gonna be the one thing that defines me? If there's one thing that Andrew Tate shows you and in his words is that, you can't just have so little going on about yourself that that's gonna be the one determining factor and I've talked about this a lot in the past. He crushes life in my opinion and he's a big inspiration for a lot of bald men. Another guy here, Andrew, says, anyone worried like this, please, please watch Andrew Tate on his opinion on being bald. Trust me. And mate, you look totally fine. After all those years of worry, it actually suits you. This was a comment on one of the recent transformation videos. Honestly, that is also where I see value. See, when you're stuck in that space of insecurity, you're balding, you don't know what to do, and you're sort of frozen by the fear of it all. Inspiration can come from anywhere. And if these words from Andrew Tate can help guys do that, as we've seen in the comments. I'm six foot three, kickboxing world champion, multi-millionaire, top G, who gives a about my hair. Anyone who's going to be concerned about my haircut is missing the, the broader message. Listen, if that's the thing that's going to be the difference in a guy's life and give them that mental reset, give them that push towards action rather than that sort of uncomfortable inaction, I really think there's a lot of value in that. And the reason why I am talking on this, you see me here sharing stories from so many different people and that's always been my goal, to help as many people around the world who are struggling with going bald. Not everyone is gonna find me relatable or Andrew Tate relatable. And I say this to all the guys who come on the channel to share their stories. There'll be a guy that looks a bit like you, something he says, the way he talks, it will be like you or something like that that will resonate with you. And that will be the thing that just switches you into action and moves you on to a much better place with all this balding and insecurity stuff. You can move past it. And if there's any other confusion as well about what Bald Cafe is about, this guy here, Colonel Kurt, literally, when commenting on a recent transformation video, he said, damn, imagine beating yourself up like this guy did for so long and then shaving your head and it looking that good. Some of the toughest prisons are the ones in our 
minds. This channel and the stories it shares, little videos like this, they are here to help people break out, break away from that mental prison. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I had to comment on this. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in that next video. Goodbye. Andrew Tate is bald, by the way. Hey, how are you? Now guys, if you're still here, I feel like it's a good time to make a little comment here. After a long journey and a lot of planning, I've actually arrived here back in China. Let me take a look or let me show you guys here. I wanted to mention the fact that I'm back here in China because it does have something to do with the reason why I haven't cut this yet. It's nothing serious, nothing crazy. I haven't had a mental breakdown. I'm not going for a transplant. It's nothing like that. I had to wait until I got to a specific place here in China before I can do something and cut this off. But listen, that's gonna be the topic for another video. I wanna thank you for the support, your patience, all of that stuff. I hope you are still enjoying the content here at Ball Cafe. I just wanted to make that little update for some of the more regular viewers because I keep getting asked about it naturally. Okay, I totally understand. I was the, the bull guy right on, on YouTube and now I'm suddenly rocking hair. What is that all about? But I'm doing fine, I'm doing great. And uh, it's great to be making these videos again. Um, you know, little fun ones like this. We're almost approaching the 100 transformations here on YouTube, which is, I mean, it's incredible, you know? And to be back here where it started, to finish that all off, um, just a nice little sentimental piece um, for the channel, for me and my life, you know? Um, and it's great. I know there's a lot of you that still watch the channel that started following back in those early days. And, um, you know, I really do want to say I appreciate it so much. You hear me talking and, and you know, I kind of script little bits out here and there um, to make these videos so I don't rant on for too long. But um, why am I saying that? But you hear me say, you know, to help guys move through that place of insecurity, that place of indecision and onto different things. And, you know, this is something I'm going to talk about when I address the whole hair thing. But, for me, the whole head shave thing, shave it, don't shave it, keep it shaved and all that stuff. For me, just the simple act of standing up to that fear and taking it off and it giving you that, I keep using this word recently, that, that mental reset, you, you suddenly have a new perspective, a new idea of what your comfort zone is and what you can handle. You know, that is the most important thing. Whatever I can do to help guys just take that action. It doesn't need to be permanent, you know. It doesn't need to be uh, like there are no rules to it, right? But just taking the action itself is so powerful in so many ways. Um, and for me, that's what it kind of all boils down to. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that little update and um, I'm doing well. Lots of content planned, of course. Being out here, visit some interesting barber shops and things like that. Can't wait for that stuff. Um, guys, see you soon. Thank you.